This is Dabu7. We have Elon Musk, the world's richest man, now saying that his neurotechnology company, Neuralink, could be launching human trials later this year. Now, he shared this response to a Twitter user who said that he would be willing to participate in these human trials. And they would implant this artificial intelligence chip inside of this man's brain so that he could control other parts of his body. Now, the individual that said this was a guy that was in a car accident 20 years ago, and he's been paralyzed from his shoulders down ever since. And he says this is his only option. So it's individuals like this stepping up, while others out there say that this is a scary realm to be going down, especially with everything connected to transhumanism. If there's anyone out there that's pushing it, it's this man, the world's richest man. As intriguing and interesting as he may be, this is the path that he has taken. He has said many times in the past that they are trying to summons the beast. He has said these things. Just look it up. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakar Kadus. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and salutation to Yaakim across the four corners of the globe preaching his gospel in truth and sincerity all right Shalom so as you can see uh Elon Musk is saying that they're gonna start trials on uh the Neuralink which they already done they already doing it they've been doing it he's just saying this shit to let you people know but it's already done they already got the the uh the technology ready for you people okay all right but uh, this signifies that, hey, the radio frequency identification chip, man, hey, is on its way. Okay? That radio fre frequency identification chip is here, man. All right? So let me get a, a few scriptures, and I'm going to close out. Revelation 13 and 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, all right, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed, man. And what's that image of the beast? All right, that's that Roman. Uh, em that's the Roman Empire re reincarnated in America. Okay, all their ways, their political system, democracy. Okay, they saying women, uh, women over men. All right, uh, uh, their uh, infrastructure. Okay, their religion, their finances. Okay, their politics. Everything um, which encompasses the system, encompass the system, okay? And they're going to put everything on this radio frequency identification chip so that it can control you people like, like they're, like they're uh, a god, okay? So if you take that radio frequency identification chip, hey, you're going to be killed, man. All right, verse 16, and he calls it all, both small and great, okay? Whether you're big in the society or you're, or you're small in the society, you know, whether you got fame or you don't, you're a nobody, rich or poor, whether you got money or no money, free or bond, whether you're in jail or you're just walking around like in the, in the public, to receive a mark in their right hand, okay? So that's a mark, uh, and, and uh, it says, are in their forehead okay all right let's go into that word mark real quick all right because this is what they're trying to push on the message and they got you people where they want you do gradualism and they're going away from the uh currency and they're going straight digital strong g 5480 haragma 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 Haragma, a stamp, a imprint, mark, okay? So they're going to be uh, inserting a, a, a little, uh, it's going to be like a rice grain, all right? In your hand or in your forehead, okay? All right, forehead, it says a, a mark stamp on the forehead, and that stamp signifies that you belong to Esau, you're his property. Or the right hand of the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. Okay, see so you and this signifies that you're against Yahweh by Sim Yahweh man. You're anti Masiach. The mark branded upon horses, like when horses get branded, then carved, sculptured, graven works of an idol I adulterous image. All right. So basically if you take this chip, you sing you saying that Esau is your your power, your God. All right. Which you'll be killed for that, man. All right. Because there's a uh, 
as a reward for, all right, uh, being wicked and taking this chip, man. All right, in which I'm going to read it. All right, well, let me finish off on this. Verse 17, and no man might buy or sell. See, you're not going to have a business. You're not going to be able to do business. All right, you're not going to be able to buy anything or sell anything, man. So you ostracized from the world, basically. Save he that had the mark. So you got to have that mark. All right. Or the name of the beast. Or the number of his name. Here's wisdom. Let him that had understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred three score and six. All right. And that's the devil, man. All right. Six, six, six is on the barcodes, man. All right. But this is the reward. If you take that chip, man, all right, because it's going to be a horrible ending for you. Revelation 14 and 22. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city. Okay, Babylon represents America. Babylon also means confusion. All right, great city in the spirit. Everything is connected. It's not 50, 52 states. It's a one big city in the spirit. All right, because he see may all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Yeah, all these nations participate in the financial system. All right, they got the same infrastructure like America. They dress like America. Okay, they try to act like Americans. All right, so um, it reads, okay, so so uh, America is falling, man. All right, let me see this again. I say Babylon is falling, Babylon is falling, that great city, because she, she made all nations drink of the wine of uh, the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, see if you take that mark and, and his image and receive his mark in your forehead or in your hand, all right, here we go in 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh by Simi So you're going you're gonna to partake in that wrath, man. All right? That wrath that Yahweh by Simi Yahweh got for Esau and these other nations, two-thirds, you're going to have to partake in it too by following him, hand joining hand. All right? And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstones in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. See, you're going to be tormented, man. All right, Yahweh by Shimei outside is not playing with you niggas, man. All right? Not playing with you niggas, man. All right? These people are going to be tormented, man. It ain't going to be no good. It ain't going to be pretty, man. All right? These people are, are, are about to die a horrible death. All right. So that's what's coming to Babylon. And um, with that, I hope this was edifying to the hopeful elect. I like to say, call Hala Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Sai, Bahashim, Harakar Kadus. Hey, hey, you're coming down with this neural link. They about to get ready to start chipping people all over the place. Hey, so, hey, be, uh, be, be on alert, Akim. Okay? And don't take that chip. Call Halal Yahweh by Sinyao Sai. Baba Ball, Kwame Yasala, Salawam.